Okay. Name is John Bozung. B as in boy, O-Z-U-N-G. And the best way to pronounce it is like Boz from Bozo the Clown and Ung like from Steve Young. Winter of 1987, in December 1987, I heard about the Los Angeles Marathon. And that's where I grew up and I thought LA Marathon, that would be kind of cool to do. So in December, just started, started training for the race that was in March and literally did two three mile runs, two five mile runs, a nine mile run, two 11 mile runs, a 13 mile run the week before the marathon. And that was my training. So I shouldn't even have done a half marathon, let alone a marathon before I, I did my first marathon. And like everybody else, I swore that would, I, I swore I'd never do another marathon. So, so much for promises, because I just, last week, I did my 352nd marathon. It would have been in 94. I went down and did the uh, Shiprock Marathon down in New Mexico, and I met a girl from, uh, that was the, from Shiprock and, and was talking about uh, some of the races she was going to go do, and she told me about the Antarctica Marathon, the first ever Antarctica Marathon down in Antarctica, and that was in 95. And I thought, okay, that's cool. I'll find out more about that. So I got signed up and went down and did, did the Antarctica Marathon in 1995. And then the next one wasn't until 97. And I thought, okay, let's, uh, 1997, what can I do? Let's, I, then I got this crazy idea to be the first person in the world to do all seven continents in one year. So I, I worked on starting getting some sponsors, working on looking at a schedule and stuff like that. And, and uh, so that's where it started, was in Antarctica in 1997, it was my first marathon of the seven continents. Then the second one was Caracas, Venezuela for South America, and then went over to Africa and did the uh, Mount uh, Kilimanjaro Marathon in Moshi, Tanzania. I wasn't actually on Mount Kilimanjaro, but you can see Mount Kilimanjaro off in the distance. And then I went for my official marathon for North America, went straight from Africa up to the Nana Civic Marathon up on the North Shore of Baffin Island, which is 400 miles north of the Arctic Circle. Then in um, August, went down and did the um, Noosa Marathon for Australia. My next trip um, went to uh, Athens Marathon. And then the following week, um, I went and did, just because I was there, did the uh, Denmark Marathon. And then my favorite international marathon would have to be the Mount Everest Challenge Marathon and uh, that because that was the only race that I've won and, uh, and there wasn't a lot of runners that day just happened to be at the right place at the right time so anyway that um, that pretty much wrapped up the, the the seven continents so that's that was my seven continent experience and was a third place finish at the Mount Kilimanjaro Marathon in Africa back in 1997 here. And this is um, my first place finish from the, from the um, Mount Everest Challenge Marathon up in the Himalayas. And I've, done, I've done all 20 Walt Disney World marathons, but uh, I was teased about this when I got home that because I do like to a lot of run in marathons, I said, John, if you ever die, you know, the place to put your ashes, you can use that as an urn. I go, oh, thanks a lot, guys. The one other special thing that uh, I got from running was um, my wife, Marcy. Met her at the St. George Marathon eight years ago. This, this, this is my beautiful wife, Marcy. So, Hi, everybody. <laughs> so she uh, has made, made running the last eight years a lot more enjoyable and uh, made, made running a lot more worth it, too. It's nice to have someone that loves and understands what you'd love to do, so, anyway, right. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Good times are behind me, my competitive times are behind me. But it's more fun for me now because my times are slower and, and, and I, so I actually enjoy the runs. But it's a lot more enjoyable for me to help somebody that's struggling. It's kind of a, you know, you know pay it forward, or pay it back, whatever you, know, you want to call it. But it's a lot more enjoyable. Yeah, I've been places and seen things I never thought I would have if I hadn't been for running. So you never know when you, when you promise yourself you're never going to run a marathon. 
where it might take you.